Death Note is a masterpiece of anime. My buddy Cole and I just finished re-watching Death Note, and we are hungry for more Death Note content. So here I am today with something that I can't stop thinking about. L's scene in the rain is one of the most beautiful scenes I've ever watched. Its visual storytelling along with multi-layered quotes is something that can cause a man to talk about it forever. So even though I am not the first person to do this, I want to dissect this scene in this video today, starting with the bell. Also, yes, there, there will be spoilers for Death Note. You've been warned. What are you doing, Ryuzaki? Oh, I'm not doing anything in particular. It's just... I hear the bell. The bell? Yes. The sound of the bell has been unusually loud today. Hmm? I don't hear anything. Really? You can't hear it? It's been ringing non-stop all day. I find it very distracting. Now, it doesn't take an expert to realize that this symbolizes funeral bells. It's the only reason he can hear them. Because he knows it's almost the end of the line for him. But on to the next part to dissect. I wonder if it's a church, maybe a wedding, or perhaps a... What are you getting at, Ryuzaki? Come on, cut it out. Let's get back inside. I'm sorry. Nothing I say makes any sense anyway. If I were you, I wouldn't believe any of it. This is so layered because it can be taken multiple different ways. At face value, he's saying that the bells made him sound a little crazy. But what he really means is that he feels defeated because he can't get anyone else on the task force to believe him that Light is Kira. And in the end, he just sounds crazy to the rest of them. But on to the next part. You know, you're totally right. Honestly, most of the things you say sound like complete nonsense. There'd be no end to my troubles if I actually took you seriously all the time. I probably know that better than anyone. Yes. I would say that's a fair assessment. But I could say the same about you. Mm hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Tell me, Light, from the moment you were born, has there ever been a point where you've actually told the truth? This is so fucking good. L here is finally passive-aggressively just saying to Light, I know you are Kira. And the way that the rain cuts out the moment he says it reinforces how important that statement was. And Light's response is painful. Where's this coming from, Ryuzaki? I do admit I stretch the truth here and there. However, find me one person in this world who's never had to tell a lie, it wouldn't be easy. Human beings just aren't made to be perfect like that. Everybody lies from time to time. Even so, I've always made a conscious effort to be careful not to tell a lie that could hurt others. That's my answer. I had a feeling you'd say something like that. It's at this moment we truly realize that L has the reins on this conversation. Every time Light has talked in this conversation, it has been in such a fake, nice way, along with being on the defensive way more than expected. We can also see the gears turning in Light's brain every time that he responds to L. Along with that, this also shows that while L has accepted his defeat, he's still not happy about it, letting out some steam, passively calling out Light here. But it doesn't end there. Well, that was certainly an unpleasant outing. It's your own fault. I mean, what did you expect? You're right. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought I might help you out. You were busy wiping yourself off anyway. Look, it's fine. You don't have to do that. I can give you a massage as well. It's the least I can do to atone for my sins. I'm actually pretty good at this. This is such a slept-on line from L. L is straight up mocking Light in this scene. While it looks like L is simply trying to be nice after making Light walk out in the rain, it's really L poking fun at Light's god complex, saying, It's the least I can do to atone for my sins. You and I will be 
be parting ways soon. This is just the writers punching the audience in the face with the fact that L knows he's going to die. And also saying to Light that it'll be lonely, won't it? Lonely without the competition, and someone as smart as him. But there is such an amazing parallel here between L and Light. When L realizes he's been defeated, he did what he could and accepted it. But when Light realized he'd been defeated, he couldn't accept it. In tantrum, he ran and ran as fast as he could, dying halfway on the stairs to Ascension. If you enjoyed that video, leave a like and check out my other Death Note video. It's been an honor, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.